As we move along in the book of Bereshit, it's fair to say that it's time to talk about real business, the Jewish people, or the roots of the Jewish people. Because Yaakov Avinu today goes out of his house to meet his wives, to build the Shivteya, the children that will all be Tzadikim. There will be no Esav, there will be no Ishmael. It will be all pure, it will be all Kadosh. And we can wonder and ask ourselves, how did he succeed? Unlike Abraham Avinu and Yitzhak, his father and his grandfather, who still were unable to build the Jewish people itself. Yes, did they did build the foundation. Yes, they are still our avot. But Yaakov was the one chosen to really succeed at this mission, to have exclusively children that will all be tzaddikim. And let me remind you that he didn't have all the odds on his side. First, he was very old. He got married at the age of 77 years old. And of course, the circumstances of his marriage were difficult. As he lived in the house of Lavan for 20 years, a man that was all ra, evil, he was still able to raise a family that was all perfect. They were all tzaddikim. And the question is, how did he do it? How did he pull it off? What can we learn from him to us? to be also perfect parents and to have, Be'ezrat Hashem, successful children. Banim Talmidei Chachamim. And I think that the answer to that important question lays once again in the first word of the parasha. Vayetzei Yaakov mi Be'er Shava vayelech Harana. Yaakov left Be'er Shava towards Haran and he arrived to Haran. And all the Mefarshim ask, what is the need to mention again that he left Be'er Sheva, that he got out of Eret Israel? We already know that. The last pasuk of last week's parasha actually said it. So why the need to repeat Vayetse Yaakov? We could have just said Vayelech Yaakov Harana. This should have been the beginning. And there are many answers to that. All beautiful answers. But today I want to share with you an answer that I think is so important and so relevant today. There is a paragraph in the Haggadah Shel Pesach that starts off with the words, Tse ulmad, ma bikesh lavan ha'arami la'asot li'yaakov avinu. This is quite odd because we don't really have this expression of Tse ulmad. Tse means get out, ulmad and learn. What did lavan do to Yaakov? So once again, we have this word of vayetze, yetzi'ah, to get out. Why? Why do I need to get out and where from in order to learn, in order to analyze? And the answer is because the whole purpose of the seder, of the Haggadah Shel Pesach, is to reach the step of the Hallel. The Hallel is the grand finale. The moment that we are going to praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu for all the Nisim that he did for our ancestors in Mithraim, and for the miracle that he still does for us every single day, right now, in our life as well. This is the purpose of the Haggadah. And this is why it is so necessary to first go through the step of Tse Ulmat. Tse is not about getting out of our physical environment. It's to get out of the box, to, to think differently, to see the world in a different angle to try to put ourselves in the shoes of the Avot, in the shoes of the Banim who get out of Mitzrayim, and to try to imagine the emotion, the connection with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and most importantly, the gratitude that we owe Him. Only then we can truly realize that what we have cannot ever be taken for granted. And I think that this is exactly what Yaakov Avinu experienced. Remember, Last week's parasha, Yaakov Avinu, is defined as Ish Tam Yoshev Ohalim. And I know that the Yoshev Ohalim is actually a very positive title because we talk about Ohala Shel Torah, the tent of the Torah. And that's absolutely crucial for Yaakov to be that person. But there is a danger. And the danger is that when the person is only close in that environment and he can't see, he can't experience, he can't live, 
the emotions that can be out there, then you can't really see the full picture. And this is why the Torah says, I'll give you the secret. Do you know how Yaakov Avinu built the Shivuteya? Do you know how he succeeded at having a beautiful family? Because by Yisei Yaakov mi Be'er Shava, he got out from Be'er Shava, from his comfort, from his parents' home, from the Ohel that he was so comfortable with, to finally experience life on the outside. Not just to be Shalem, not just to be perfect, but most importantly, to never take anything for granted. And that's exactly what Yaakov Avinu does, by the way. Because when he wakes up after that dream, what does he say? What does he do? Vayidar Yaakov neder limor. He makes a vow. He makes a promise, an oath. And he tells Bore Olam, he says, I realize that nothing in this life can be taken for granted. Venatali lechem leechol ubegedil bosh. Even the bread, the basic food, even the clothing that I have on myself, I never realized that they are so important, that they are so crucial to realize, to be thankful to Bore Olam. And this is why I want right now to make a neder, that I will never neglect what I have. These were the foundations that Yaakov Avinu established before he got married, before he built his family. And I think, as today is Thanksgiving, true, not a Jewish holiday, but yet so connected to our values, to the values of the Yehudi, the Yehudi who is the one who says Modeani every day, the Yehudi who is the one who is defined by the Hoda'ah, the Hoda'ya, the thankfulness, the gratitude to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We have one more time in this week's parasha, a very, very important reminder of who we are. And especially this year, a year where so many people ask themselves, what exactly am I supposed to be thankful for? Well, it looks like HaKadosh Baruch Hu forced us to think out of the box. He made us really experience a life that was turned upside down. Why? Probably to realize that nothing can be taken for granted. And it's the time, more than ever, to lift up our eyes and to, and to say to Bore Olam, thank you. Thank you for all the things that I never realized that I should have said thank you before. For my life, for my health, for my family, for my home, for my business if I can still work, for absolutely anything that was normal, for the bread that I eat on a daily basis, for the clothes that I wear. Because Bore Olam, all this is thanks to you. This is how Yaakov established the Jewish people. This is who we are. And this is how we can become as well the greatest parents of the most beautiful and successful children in the world. Shabbat Shalom Umborach.